everybody, this is Brother Mutant here. We are on week four of our Darkest Dungeon run. Let's see. Uh, most recently, you see that we have up. Uh, uh, leveled up. There we go. I have words. I have the best words. Uh, we've leveled up uh, Kane as well as Dismas, Renald, Kalmet. Uh, brought their stress down pretty significantly, too, thanks to his wonderful ability here, Inspiring Cry. Uh, we are going to try to bring in some of these newer level zero tunes. Uh, unfortunately, a couple look like they're in sequestered places to either heal up or remove quirks or what have you. Uh, so it looks like Albert won't be coming with us. Of course, our stage coke, uh, stage coach is empty of anyone that we would want to bring. Uh, we have locked, unlocked the Sanitarium, the Abbey. Uh, pretty much the only thing we're waiting for now, I think, is the Survivalist and this uh, Nomad Wagon. That should be the end of it. Uh, so those are coming quickly. Well, let's actually go see what kind of mission we'd like to do. First, let's remove the characters that are already up on our team. Uh, if we sort by level twice, we have all the zeros down on the top now. It's uh, on the bottom. Uh, we have a character here that can do some decent bleeds. Uh, as well as this character, and she serves as a good tank or first position tune. Uh, so there's some good synergy there. The healer should probably still come with us. Uh, and in the last position, if we wanted to, we could take Gazar because they actually have a bleed move, so we could actually have three bleeds on the team. But the downside of that is we wouldn't have access to a whole lot else. Just this move, and that's it. So. I'm going to pass on that. I suppose I could bring another tank. Uh, it never hurts to have more tanks. Kane could come with. Uh, we have a little bit of health there. Poison darts would be useless though. I think we'll just take the other tank. That's a good composition. And we really needed a little heavy hitter on our team anyway since we have two level zeros. Uh, we will obviously go to a place where bleeds are useful. So that's either the Warrens or the Wield. Wield is long battle. And since we have a good healer, maybe that's the way to go this time. But they are actually... I take that back. Actually, since we have a level, a couple level zeros, maybe we should do the short mission to err on the side of caution. Let's do that. Uh, so now we're going to sort by activity. So we get our four people in the party. Up here, we do our trinket swap. Let's see, what do we got that we can use? Move resistance, that will be good on someone like her. She needs the extra protection anyway. Uh, blight and bleed resistance. Sure, why not? Uh, damage to humans and dodge. Well, his dodge is still pretty good. We have a stun. Oh, okay, so we're going to give her the move resistance and... There we go. He'll get the damage for humans. She has a stun skill, I think, unlocked. If not, we can unlock it. This will be a good time, since we have a little bit extra cash, to unlock moves like so. Okay, so again, she's. if we pick them in the order that we're going to use them, from, so from one to four, we want the big heal, the minor heal, the dazzling light, which is a nice little torch buff slash stun. It's not a stellar move, but it's there. Uh, and we'll grab Illumination just because it's useful in, in positions 1, 2, and 3. She isn't in position 3, uh, but we'll work on that here in a moment. Uh, he has good moves that jank him around. The bleed's really useful, but he has a stun move that we can unlock relatively cheap. And we really do want that move, so Dirk's tab will probably go away the dodo. This one's useful because it's an accuracy debuff uh, and a self buff for speed. So a great move for messing with the bad guys. Gosh, I should put these in order the way we're going to use them. Single target, double target, uh, solo move, and inspiring tune for some stress relief. And again, he would be actually pretty good in position three. Not so great position four. This one would work. That one wouldn't. This one would. It's only two moves useful in position four. And he immediately jumped to position one in the first game place. So a lot of dancing around for him as well. 
Oh, she's good with what she has. I'm pretty happy with that. And same with him. With the exception of... Where is it? There's stress heal. That's nice. Self heal. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, let's, let's do that. And the reason I say that is because this move here I don't particularly use. So let's do it. Oh, yay. So he can take care of his own stress if he needs to. We also got this guy to help out with stress. She's rocking all kinds of good abilities. Eventually we'd like to unlock Judgment. And then use these four in a row here from position two, or position power two, three, four, and five would be the, the one through four moves that she would use. All usable at the back positions three or four. So a useful character all around, but again, once you pull her to the front, she'd be basically dirt useless. Oh, see, anyone need a level up? Ah, yeah. And with that, we're all that good. Okay, so we have our trinkets, the ones that we can use anyway. We're going to go to the Warrens, who have a relatively short mission. I can't remember what the Warrens is other than they're susceptible to bleeds. Uh, we'll take all the food just to be safe. Grab a couple shovels. I want to say these are blighting jackasses, so maybe we should be extra buffs, a few keys, and, I, and I'm overkilling the crap out of this right now, but I don't care. We have the money, it's a relatively easy run, and we have a good party composition, even if they aren't tier 1 and better. So this should be a, a, a decent test of these guys, and the synergy is there. We have good damage, we have, actually we have great damage. Uh, we got decent heals with the healer. Uh, good stress relief on a couple tunes so all in all you shouldn't be hurting if anything the issue for this one will be oh what blights probably they breed quickly down there in the dark but perhaps we can slay them even faster so we have 100% of room battles which means we could fight one or two rooms and be done before you know it. So we're gonna keep our torchlight up. Can see things. Ambushed by foul invention. Okay, so the pile of bones requires holy water to desecrate them. Ooh, we get herbs in replacement and a portrait. I'll take that. So that's our first heirloom. Eventful so far. Alright, looted my loot. Alright, here's a good fight. All humans, so all easily blood. Not that one was gonna annoy. Okay, so here's a chance to try out her stun. Very nice. Okay, so now we got harvest, which can do bleeds for two people. And it did beautifully. Yes, got a little stress relief, very nice. Here comes the bleed moves, yeah. He can take it though. He's got his own little self heal if he needs it. Huge. Boom! Just destroy bad guys. So at this point, that's it. You're done. Whoever gets the first turn, try to heal if we can. A little stress heal. We'll do it on our weak tune. Get her health or stress down. And goodbye. Some successful loot for that one. No, not bad. Marching. I'm gonna let that bleed out because it's easy enough to heal up. Rack of blades requires you to use a bandage to protect your fingers. Some extra food. Which since a short mission, might as well heal up. There's no reason not to be healed, right? Hazards possessed by evil intent. That's okay. There's 
really not giving me any fights, are they? Food check. There's books. You know you want to click it. Stress. That was totally not worth it. Gonna make me go all the way to the back one again. Okay? Scout carelessness place. will find no clemency in this place. In radiance, may we find victory. Oh, there's a nice battle. Okay, so we got a lot of beasts here. Human slash beast, by the way. So for those of you that are doing damage against humans, these count. Okay. So let's see. First off, what do we got here? We got a bleed on me. That's not that bad. If I crit this, he'll die. Or I'll get nothing. Alright, uh, we can start the bleed now or start getting some stress relief. We should probably go for some bleeds. Put one of these numbers down. Team heal. Death well, oh, that, that was not good. That was not good at all. Oh, this guy. He does stress. It apparently marks targets, which I didn't know. <laughs> we want to take him out if we had all possible. I guess he really wants to mark me. Puke! Stress is starting to pile up there. We may want to start doing something about that. She gets a buff, of course, which decreases the amount of stress coming in. He's hurting, so we're going to heal him up. He needs to go away. Alright, she can take the damage. He is a tanky tank. He, on the other hand, taking a beating. Let's see, how's that gonna do there? Uh, split the damage. Oh, beauty. Nice stress relief for him. No, if you've got me, you're gonna give me a disease. I just know it. Oh, he gave me a disease, you dick. Disease is the fits. Oh, accuracy and crit is decreased. Oh, I got more speed, though. Woohoo! That totally makes it worth it. Start us the sarcasm in my voice. Uh, team healing needs it. Oh, nice crit. Well, helpful at least. Obliterated. Obliterated. All right. Success so clearly in view, or is it merely a trick of the light? Okay, so this one requires herbs to purify the table. Hacks laden with loot are often low on supplies. Alrighty. Well, since we know the mission ain't over, we know we got at least one more fight. And it looks like we got two. Which is okay. But, to be on the safe side here, she has her own little self heal for blights and bleeds, so I ain't worried about that. So, oh, collector, this is gonna be bad. Okay, well, fortunately, we got the bleed for us. Uh, what a collector basically is, is uh, kind of like a mini-boss. This guy is going to basically summon three fighters in front of him and continue to do damage as well. Good ways to take him out, of course, are your dots, your blights, your bleeds, because he's gonna eventually shuffle himself to the back. And unless you can kill off three guys every time and still attack him, it's unlikely that you're going to continue to do damage. So you want to get those blights and bleeds on when you can. This is a relatively tough fight, though. So, just so we're clear, this is going to be... Try 
fight for some extra damage at the very least. Oh my god, they gave me the stun. I cannot believe that. They're being way too nice for this one. Alright. Here's our collect call. People. Whoop. Yeah. Fortunately, we still have options. He's going to be stuck to, to destroying those guys in the front. You notice, I should show you what we have. We have, of course, a highwayman, a highwayman, and a man at arms. Heal it up. Guarding somebody that's wounded, like this guy, which would really screw us. So, killing him would be a useful thing. But these guys hit for hella damage. So, we're going to try to wipe out them if at all possible. She, on the other hand, has the ability to attack the back row. So, we might as well capitalize on it. Now, his ability to do bleeds could be useful. There we go. Yeah, it's a little stressed out and too bad. Okay, he's gonna buff him. Yeah, protection shield. But he's stunned, so I don't particularly care. What we're going to do double damage. There we go. I'm gonna bleed on this guy, too. Not quite enough. Now, if I stun, if I try to stun him, it'll make sure it'll hit this guy. Oh, I could, of course, try to continue doing damage on this one. Keeps my light up, so I'm okay with that. Now I can start doing the bleeds. There's some right there. And since we really want him to bleed out, we're going to main target him. There we go. As long as he don't heal, or someone protects him with a heal, which does happen, by his next turn he should be dead. So all we really need to do is uh, turtle up here and make sure everybody's healed if at all possible. Good dodge. She didn't have that much to begin with. So now while he's guarding him, you would think that I can't hit this turn. That's not true because I have an AoE move that hits him and this guy. Because he would be protecting him, they both can swung at Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Crush this advantage. There we go. Give them no quarter. Take the opportunity to heal up when I can. We managed to get our stress down a decent As amount. That was pretty easy for this team. Blossoms. Oh, I almost forgot about that. A nice little gem for mega money. So, almost worth that fight. Got some stress relief as well. All kinds of happy. Uh, See, so yeah, I've used all my holy water after this one, though. So, which means I can't use it on this pile. Now, I could click it and just see what happens. Nothing of value. Probably shouldn't even try, because that was... A serious chance of burning myself. Safety. Last fight. Okay. Easy peasy, punk and squeezy. Got these guys. Give me some bleed. Thank you. Vomit guy. You already got enough diseases. So this guy's really annoying. We're going to have to get rid of him. But the stress dealer here is also annoying. This guy back here. You can do stress to the whole team if you want to. You ain't swinging all the way back there, we know it. Oh, let's try to stun this doofus though, so we don't have to worry about him. Nice! What do you got, boys? What do you got? Alright. Let's try to shoot that damage. He is just a beast today. Let's take on Stress Maker. He's gone. Not good. Clarified in a single strike. Uh, that's fine. Resist that bleed. Good job. You see, our stress piled up pretty damn quick. So while we came in relatively happy, we're leaving pretty pissed off. This is how a life is taken. You know, I could kind of cheese it, leave this jackass, kill him off because he does so much damage. 
maybe we should for at least a round. That was pretty crit right there. Alright. Rather the healer be lower than what she is. Oh, nice crit, baby. Help take his stress away. I think I have to finish this guy off because I really don't want to go to five rounds. I ain't worried about damage, it's the stress and any diseases there, the crippling at this point. Decimated. Now, trinket. Seize this momentum. Push on Healing to the task's received. end. Nice man, nice. Alright, keys. Heirloom. Nice stash of heirlooms. Not a ton in the way of money, but that will go a long way of helping. So, all around a successful test of my new team. Their squeals fade. Their confidence is shaken. And a trinket that gives accuracy to melee, or melee skills. That's going to be extremely nice, for, especially for all those tanks that we're going to have up front. They're pretty much every move that they have is melee. So... That's, that makes me happy. Well, I got some deeds, some money. I paid for the cost of the trip at least. Of course, we got a couple levels for everybody. Oh, we got three levels because we got one for Calmet. Not bad. No one cheat. That's not horrible. Unholy Slayer, though. That'll be nice. Uh, kind of not the tune I would actually take to the undead because he bleeds. Hmm. Eagle Eye. 3% crit range skills. I wonder if all the stuff I've been zapping them with is considered range. I bet it is. That wouldn't be too bad either. Don't know how successful for, right? Uh, let's see what we got in our stagecoach. We'll return these guys. Uh, relieve some stress for the ones that are... In time, you will know the tragic extent of my failings. Yeah, the kleptomaniac. That's why we have something to there. He was probably new to the stagecoach, if I remember right. Okay. We have to get rid of that. I can't have him being that gimped on all kinds of other stuff. So that's fine. Sort by stress, and he would be the one that I'd want to take to the stress place anyway. So we'll leave everyone else alone. But, yeah, cultist. All right, now here is our second real healer. And it's because of this move here. Weird reconstruction. Only usable position three and four. But, and here's where it gets weird. It can heal for 0 to 12. So the heal could be awesome, or it could be nothing. The range is actually seems to favor the 0, by the way. I, I mean, it's not that he won't do 12 or you know, crit for all kinds of help. But um, for some reason, it always seems that he hits the 0 mark a lot easier. The other thing is, when he uses this on you or anyone on the team, because he can use it on anybody, uh, even himself, he has a chance of bleeding the target. Notice how it says bleed 59% base at one point around for three rounds. So he could bleed you. And the downside of that is if you're dying, you're like on death's door, you have zero health, this heal could heal for nothing and apply a bleed and then, of course, kill you when the bleed fires off. So, he's not the best healer ever, but compared to taking the healer every time, he would be your second strongest option. He has a lot of really good moves. He also has the ability to mark a target, which comes in some good synergy for uh, these two. And that's going to be extremely useful. It's got some weird powers. Stuff that I would usually pick would be like this one here. These ones actually... Of course, the demons pull clearing corpses is useful as well as pulling the bad guys from the back to the front. Especially for those ones that can only seem to attack well in the back. Uh, you know, I'm thinking of your pistol shooters, your uh, arbalists, 
your uh, musketeers and what have you. Those guys being pulled to the front is extremely useful. Uh, so we're taking him. To fight the abyss, one must know it. And we already have her. We're pretty happy with her. So there's really no reason to take either of these two. Let's see if we want to upgrade the stagecoach. We don't have enough. And it requires deeds. Deeds would be actually probably rather use for the blacksmith. Yeah. Can make the cost cheaper for armor upgrades. Maybe that's the way to go. Start saving our money. So all those armor upgrades are now cheaper. Can't put him in there because he's already squirreled away somewhere. But I think that was a good investment of money. But all in all, pretty happy. Now we have a chance to let our healer take a break so that we can actually take someone else. From there, you know, I could be safe and bring a good tank that we know is good for stress relief, and he has his own heal. It was lame, but it's there. I'll take Dismas, who's level 2, make sure that we have a successful, easy run, uh, and then take someone else, like uh, old Plague Doctor could go with, Kane. Kane would be decent. Matter of fact, that's probably a good combo. We don't have... We have a bleed, we have a blight, we have some bleed debuffs. Uh, so bleeds would be useful. I probably want to do something again like this, but it's, again, you see level 3. Don't want to do the code because it's too tough. Uh, we probably am having to do this and rely on her blight and, and dismiss damage, which wouldn't be horrible. This is probably where we're going to go next time. But with that, I will say goodnight. Thank you for tuning in. My name is Brother Mune. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this playthrough so far. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please like, subscribe. Let me know if there's anything else you guys like to see. A specific party composition. I'm open to all challenges. Well, most challenges. Don't say, I want you to do the Antiquarian Times 4. Because, no, I'm not going to do it. Uh, but hopefully we'll start unlocking the Survivalist and the Nomad uh, Wagon here. This is where you get trinkets for sale. So you can purchase trinkets. Uh, but by and large, we're doing pretty well. Thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye-bye.